Hey, welcome inside Zippity's Garage. In today's episode, we're taking a road trip to go pick up my new daily driver. So let's hit the road. Hey, thanks for pushing that play button, guys. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jeff Zippity Duda, and Zippity's Garage YouTube channel is dedicated to the fun and games associated with being an automotive enthusiast. So if that sounds something you like, please consider subscribing. If you like today's content, give it a thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all the other fun socials. So like I said, in that introduction today we're taking a road trip to go down and pick up my new daily driver if you've watched the channel in the past you know i've got a commemorative edition 2004 z06 that sits up on the lift but right now no longer have the daily driver here in the parking spot so with that said we're going to do a little bit of a, a vlog style of video today kind of chronicling the next couple of days where i head down and pick up the vehicle and at the end of the video, I'm also going to run a bunch of photographs that I took during the little excursion. So with that said, let's get on the road to go get my new car. All right, guys, Zippity's Garage. Like I said, we're out on location, out taking a ride to an undisclosed location to come out and pick up my new car. So say hello to Jose. Hey! <laughs> so Ho Jose and I have spent the last couple hours together. He's in, uh, you know, we got the Uber and Lyft here. We are ready to go. Um, we are now at the destination. So I'm not going to tell you where I'm at just yet. You got to stick around. So, Jose, thank you. Back Safe travels home. back home. Back it's been a pleasure. Same so I'm going to jump out. We're at my hotel now. <laughs> thank you. So I, he knows what I'm doing tomorrow. So, uh, so thanks again, Jose. Right, buddy, Safe you. travels. And I've got my Club Glove Corvette racing luggage here ready to go. Getting ready to check in to my hotel so let's get checked in and we'll see where it leads It is now Saturday. Saturday is delivery day of my new daily driver. So thanks for sticking around in this little video vlog. We'll be seeing the new car here very shortly. But like I said, it is Saturday morning. We need to get a ride over to the dealership. So let me open up my phone. We're gonna go in here and uh, get our Uber. So let's get outside and jump in our ride. All right, we made it down to the lobby. Let's take a walk outside, see what we got for an Uber coming in. So it, they're only about five minutes away, so it shouldn't be long. So let's get over to the dealership this morning here. All right, the driver's getting ready to pull up here. Can see him coming around. You gotta double check the vehicle, but you know, safety first. With Uber, you always gotta check the license plate. So let's check out to so make sure this is my driver. Vet seller, yes. This, this is the Uber that I ordered. It is the matching license plate. I don't know if I can trust this driver. Hey. Ride for the day. <laughs> How are you, Michael? Good, buddy. good to see good you, pal. You. So obviously not an Uber, but a really good friend and a really beautiful, beautiful C8 Corvette. So this is my ride over to the dealership. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Michael's beautiful, beautiful C8 Corvette, pulling into the Criswell dealership and let's take a ride past the new car. Hey, well, look at that beautiful C8. Is it that car? Or is the, the car next to it? It is the car next to it, a beautiful, beautiful shadow gray C7 Corvette. So. We're gonna go get the paperwork signed and we're gonna go drive it home today. So stick around. So if you haven't figured it out by now where I'm buying this car from, we are down at Criswell Chevrolet in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Um, home of the one and only Mike Furman, the number one Corvette salesman in the world. 
Back earlier in the spring, I came down to Criswell and covered the 5,000th delivery of Mike's career. And it was a Red Mist uh, C8 Corvette. I'll link a video of that down below. But you can see here, C8 in silver flare. Now, I would absolutely love to drive this one home, but a little bit outside of my budget. But if you've been watching the channel, you know I've been looking for a C7 as a daily driver. Yes, I am gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna see what we can do about daily driving a C7 Corvette in New Jersey. Yes, we'll have snow and rain and wind and all that stuff. Now, certainly not gonna take it out when there's lots of snow on the ground, but you get a good set of winter uh, tires and wheels and we can have some fun with it. So get a little bit more in depth on the car, but it is a shadow gray with the black motorsport wheels red caliper z51 and what i really really like about it hopefully it comes through on camera it has the spice red interior package and i contacted the national corvette museum this color combination like i said i wanted something a little bit unique but didn't necessarily want a collector's edition or anything like that this color combination with the shadow gray and the spice red is one of two that were ever made in 2019. So more to come from Criswell. Well, we're still out of Criswell's and now the sun's starting to come up and like any great athlete that's out there, you know, you always hear about the guy that's the first one in the locker room doing the reps and watching tape and so forth. Well, let me tell you what, Mike Furman picked me up this morning. It was still dark outside. It was before 7 a.m. and we got here to Criswell and had to get the doors unlocked. So Mike is uh, here early getting ready to do his thing on a Saturday and he's got a lot of deliveries scheduled for today. But I figured let's take a walk and see some of the colors that Criswell has on display here before I get ready to drive my Corvette home. So here is a white C8, it's a 3LT convertible, natural dipped interior for $92,000. So nice, nice color combination. Silver trident wheel on it, torch red. This one has also got the natural interior, but it's a 2LT convertible for 82. Nice looking with the red seat belt. Hopefully that comes through on the video. But you can see the differences in the dipped dashboard. This is the non-dipped, so it's got the black dash. The dipped dashboard has got the natural color to it. Then these things are all the rage right now, the C8R edition in hypersonic gray. Beautiful, beautiful car. And this is a coupe and they all pretty much come as a 3LT Z51 car, and this is $89,000, it's a 2022. You can see the graphic, two-tone yellow going up the front, Corvette emblem on the roof, comes all the way down, and then across the, the, uh, the Stingray emblem in the back. And this is the number four edition. That's the number four for the number four race car. Rapid blue, nice combination with the black wheels and the yellow caliper. It's a Z51 convertible. You can see it's got the carbon flash nacelles. It's a 3LT, like I said, convertible. It's got the gray seats with a blue seat belt. This is $101,000, guys. So here you go, a C8 that has crested the $100,000 mark. Very high option car. I don't know if you can make out the blue seat belts in there, but that looks really, really good with the gray seats. And like I said, a very high option car. Beautiful color. Really, really like that rapid blue. Another red with natural. 2LT coupe for 79. Nice looking car. Here is your orange. This is the new Amplify orange for 22. So this is the 2LT and it's just under $86,000. So take a look at this. This is the non-metallic color for 2022. So very similar to the Rapid Blue in that it's a non-metallic car. And looking at the seat belts in here, it's got orange belts. So again, a really Neat looking combination with the jet black interior. 
Another red one with nice looking with the silver stripe. Breaks up that color nicely. Silver trident wheel, the red caliper. There's no sticker on it. Looks to possibly be a three or, yep, it's a three LT convertible. And it's got the stand, you know, the standard natural interior. It's the non dip You can see the black dash. But that stripe really does break up the red. Carries all the way through. And you can see this has got the body colored the cells as opposed to the carbon flash. It's a little bit different look than what that rapid blue one had on it. And the stripe carries all the way down the rear bumper. Hey, a red mist. It's not spice red, guys. <laughs> my car's gonna be spice red though. So if you watch one of my older videos, I ended up calling this thing spice red and got destroyed in the comment section. Well deserving. There's Michael doing a quick little walk of what they have out here today. 2LT convertible, $91,000. Beautiful car. One of my favorite colors, the ceramic matrix. This has got a natural interior inside of it. 2LT coupe, and it's 75,000. Good morning, Michael. Sir, how are you? <laughs> good, good. <laughs> He's out here doing his thing. There's a red, again, with a natural, and you can tell this is the dipped interior with the uh, natural colored dash. 3LT convertible for $88,000. And a little bit of a difference on this is it has the body colored boomerang for lack of a better description as opposed to the black one here on the ceramic matrix you can see also see body colored nacelles and roof and there's another convertible there with the carbon flash section and you can also do that the roof as carbon flash if you desire so you can really customize the look of these cars rapid blue with some stripes black stripe down the center stingray hash marks 2LT convertible for $89,000. Like I said, look at the body color nacelles versus carbon flash. And then you can also opt to do this in carbon flash as well. But, you know, obviously if this owner did the stripe, you want that contrasting color. Body colored spoiler on it. So a really nice lineup here. Oh, we got two more, three more over here. Take a quick walk across the parking lot. Another rapid blue and a hypersonic gray and a red mist. Take a closer look at these. So this is a 1LT convertible. So not a lot of, not a very high option car. Started at 68, but it's going out the door at $80,000. So that has the Z51 on it. Stingray R appearance package. Um, composite rockers and rapid blue paint or the upgrades so this does not have the decals installed just yet for the stingray r package but a nice looking car hypersonic gray with a red interior so you can almost say this is very similar to the car that i'm picking up today in that it's gray with a red interior so it's got the black trident wheel red caliper on it it's a 3 lt convertible for 99. so this is what i was talking about here's your full black roof or carbon flash roof with the, the uh, nacelles as well. So again, just a different way to break up that color. Let me know what you think of the new hypersonic gray. But this looks nice with all the black, 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 carbon flash, whatever you want to refer to it as, with the red interior, red caliper, nice looking build on this particular car. So, really, really nice. And then another red mist edge red caliper on it red mist metallic with natural it's a 2lt coupe for eighty thousand dollars and no spoiler on this particular car so again i i like the look without the spoiler i am the, this car does not need a spoiler in my opinion so let me know guys What's your favorite color of the C8s that we just featured here at Criswell today? So I figured I'd take this minute here just to go around the car a little bit and kind of introduce you to the car, quite frankly, and introduce me to the car as well. So this is my first C7. It's going to be my third Corvette. My wife and I had a 98 convertible, triple black, and then we have still have the 04 commemorative edition Z06, which is up home in New Jersey. But this is going to be my first C7. 
I've driven a couple C7s, been out to Spring Mountain and drove them. Um, then I've had a couple friends that have had them. And then my wife drove one in the 2014 Corvette Caravan. The folks from Kerbeck Chevrolet were nice enough to loan us a Corvette for two weeks so that my wife and daughter could join that event. Uh, hopefully the background music doesn't pick up too much here, but this is a 2019. It is a 3LT Z51 car, originally delivered through the National Corvette Museum, and you can see it still has the R8C insignia here on the, da or on the uh, door sill, and then on the dash, there is actually the plaque of the name of the couple that purchased this car. And I'm gonna zoom in, see if it shows. It does not show the mileage, but I'll let you know what the mileage is as well. But just a quick walk around the exterior. It is the shadow gray. You can see it in camera against a silver flare, silver flare C8, shadow gray on the C7, which was a somewhat of a unique color. I'll have to put the actual numbers down here in the video to let you know how many were actually produced. Uh, but it's got the carbon flash badge package. So back then and even currently, you can either get this emblem as a chrome outline or black or carbon flash outline. So what that does is makes the stingrays around the car also carbon flash. Unique wheel on this car, it's the black motorsports wheel. And quite frankly, of all of the C7 wheels, this is probably my favorite, except maybe for the ZR1 wheel. Uh, but that ZR1 wheel also comes with a ZR1. A <laughs> little bit outside of my price range. But so this wheel was one of the big factors in, in this particular car. Um, it's got the uh, side skirt on it in carbon flash, body colored mirrors. It's got the single top, which is painted body color. Carbon flash on the air vents. Come around the back, body colored spoiler. Carbon flash rear vents. Criswell, got the upgraded exhaust. It has splash guards, aftermarket splash guards because I have the original ones inside the car. And we're gonna open it up here. And this is another big selling feature, at least for me, was the interior. And hopefully the sun glare doesn't interfere too much. We're looking right into the sun. But this is the spice red interior. Again, a very unique option package. And in 2019, got the information from the museum, there were 37 Stingrays, meaning, you know, non-Grand Sport, non-Z06, 37 Stingrays produced with this particular color interior. So one of 37 makes it pretty unique. And then taking it a step further, it's one of two that were done with this gray exterior and the spice red interior. So like I said, in my search, I wanted something unique. I didn't want a specialty edition car like uh, Carbon 65. I absolutely adore that car, but I don't want to daily drive a Carbon 65. Plus, that's the lowest trim level you could get that in was the Grand Sport, or model, I should say. So with this 3LT, you get the quilted, you know, the Alcantara stitched headliner, as well as Alcantara here on the pillars. Just a lot of nice creature comforts with the 3LT, the leather dash. Um, and this car has less than 4,900 miles on it. And you can see there's no creases in the leather, no creases on the armrest, or even here on the door panel. Door panel is clear of any kicks. And the other big deal is that it's a manual transmission. My initial search was for an automatic so that my wife could drive it. But after talking with her, she said, by all means, you know, if I'm gonna be the main driver of the car, to go for the manual transmission. So a huge shout out to my wife, Phyllis. Love you dearly. And uh, this is just another uh, another chapter in our Corvette ownership throughout our uh, marriage. And my daughter is super excited about this. She's gonna be driven to school in this every day. So she's looking forward to that. Um, so they couldn't be here this morning because I didn't want to interrupt their Saturday with taking the three hour drive down the Criswell. So like I said, last night had a nice drive down, 
It's about a two and a half hour drive. Did it via a Lyft driver as opposed to a one-way rental car, because one-way rentals right now are through the roof as far as uh, expense goes. So it was actually less expensive to do a two hour, two and a half hour drive as a Lyft passenger. And then this morning, I thought I had some fun with the Uber app and uh, showing Mike Furman picking me up at the hotel this morning. So still have a little bit of paperwork to fill out, but Mike is a true professional. We've already got the OnStar set up. We've got the Bluetooth set up. And during this entire purchasing process, Mike and I never spoke on the telephone. It was all done through electronic communication over email. He and I you know, just communicated a couple times. I had been stalking this car since it popped up, you know, when I was starting to vicariously shop. I found this car on Criswell's website back in, I'd say mid to er early to mid-October, and it's now the first week of December that I'm taking delivery. So this car has been here for a couple weeks and wasn't really that serious on it because it was a manual transmission. But after talking with my wife, we said, let's, let's consider the manual. So once you know the manual, the transmission question was answered, kind of sent Mike a, a message and said, is it still available? Let's talk some numbers. And we did via email. He did put me in touch with the business manager who handles all the financing. I did speak with him on the phone once to go over down payment and so forth. But uh, that's all I have to do left here this morning is sign the paperwork and then we're on the road home. <laughs> Okay, here we are. We are inside my new Corvette. New to me, 2019. You can see I filled out all the paperwork. Mike gave me a couple uh, pieces of swag to take home, Criswell. So gonna have some fun. Mike's out there videoing. So uh, we are gonna pull away now and hopefully we don't stall the thing here while we're on camera and so forth. But um, here we go. Here goes nothing. Thank you, Mike. Take care, Zimmer, you did I. Awesome, man. Thank you. Right, yeah. Beautiful car. So wonderful experience here at Criswell. Um, had me in and out in just about an hour, uh, which is great. Here is Vet Sellers C8 Corvette. That was my Uber ride this morning. And we're just gonna do a little quick cruise around. And I did capture all the colors that were here. But uh, just an unbelievable, you know, really, really positive experience here this morning. And uh, get a nice little drive home today up 95. And then we'll start having some fun with the car and whether we're doing modifications to it, what have you. But stick around to the channel for more content to come. All the fun and games associated with being a car enthusiast. That's what I talk about this channel as being. So here's all the C8s that they've got lined up, ready for delivery. Well, just a quick update for you. I've made it into New Jersey. Um, it's been an uneventful drive so far, but that's good. Um, car drives like a dream. Uh, light years ahead of the C5 Z06 that I have, which I do intend to keep. Uh, like I said, this C7 is planned to be my daily driver. Now granted, if it's snowing outside, don't have to leave the house. I can work from home. So I'm fortunate in my new position and my new uh, new role at my employer. You know, I'm not doing 30,000 miles a year like I had been driving in the past. So, gonna give this rear wheel drive sports car thing a, a shot as far as a daily driver. I, I learned to drive on a rear wheel drive car when I was 17. I had a Pontiac G8 GXP, which was a high horsepower rear wheel drive vehicle granted that weighed 4,000 pounds so it did a little bit better in the weather but between the mag ride the suspension on this thing um, weather mode feel like we should be pretty good as far as a daily driver goes and I'm enjoying the drive so far um, it's comfortable um, was happy it did not have the competition seats um, understand the competition seats can be a little bit harder but for a daily driver, I'm really looking forward to this. So plans for the car. I, I do plan on doing some sort of a clear bra on it and ceramic coating. So that will be forthcoming. 
probably do some window, you know, tint the windows, basic stuff. Not gonna go crazy with a custom build or anything like that. So that's not what this channel is about. This channel is about the fun and games associated with being an automotive enthusiast. So now I guess you can call me, a, uh, we are a two Corvette family in our household. So that's pretty exciting. And as I close out the video, I just wanna say thank you, not only to Criswell Chevrolet and Mike Furman, but also to the, my friends over at Sioka Corvette, uh, the guy, you know, the former Kerbeck location, because I've been talking with them about trying to find a used car. So, and not only them, but Mike Davenport, um, who's Chevy Dude, or Chevy, yeah, Chevy Dude on YouTube, reached out to him on a couple of used cars that he had. And like I said, it's a used car, so you can't factory order this thing. And I tell you what, if I were to factory order a 2019 Corvette, it would look pretty close to this. I might add a couple more carbon fiber bits here and there, but this car is really, really specced out nicely, and I'll be sure to cover it more on the channel. But uh, like I said, as I close out, more fun and games to come out through the winter season. And a huge thank you to the folks at Criswell and again to Mike Furman for an unbelievable job well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my new Corvette. All right, guys, so thanks again. And be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And stick around for more fun and games.